In this question, we will build an engineering member out of an aluminum alloy. And it will have the shape of a plate loaded in tension that may have a crack in one edge. Let's draw the shape to understand the question more easily. We know that the shape will look like this. And we are given the dimensions. We know that we will have a tension force, which is P. We will have a thickness T. We will have a crack size A. And we will have the width, which is B. We know that the crack size is 6 millimeters. The width B is 30 millimeters. And the thickness is 4 millimeters. And we know that it must resist a tension force, which is 7.5 kilonewtons. Let's look at the question. In the part A, we have an equation. K1 is equal to F times SG times square root pi times A. For this question, we have the crack size over with, which is alpha, and it is equal to 6 over 30 millimeters. And it gives us 0 0.2, which is larger than 0 0.13, and it is equal to alpha 0. So we will need to find a form factor from an equation. In the book, from figure 8.12 we will have an equation for the form factor which is given as You can find this equation from your book when you look at this figure. And for alpha is equal to 0 0.2, we have a form factor which is 1.38. We know the form factor. Now we should calculate SG. We know that SG is equal to load over Vt. We have all values to find this equation. We know that P is 7.5 kN and we know that B is 30 mm and the thickness is 4 mm. And we obtain SGS 62.5 MPa. Now we know SG and we know the form factor and we are given A so we can easily find K1. Let's substitute the values. And we obtain K1 as 11.84 MPa square root meters. We know that we have the safety factor of 2.8, which is Xk. And we know that the safety factor is equal to K1c over K1. We know K1, so when we multiply K1 with 2.8, we will find K1c. And it will be equal to 33.16 
MPA square root meters. We are done with part A. Now let's solve part B. In part B, we know that the safety factor, which is P0 over P, is equal to 2. Again, it is against fully plastic yielding. And it wants us to find a minimum yield strength. When we look at the book uh, in Appendix A, we saw that in figure A.16, part D, P0 is Bt times sigma 0 times a fu function of alpha. for the given shape. So we can see that there is a sigma zero here. And when we look at the equation, we saw that we know P. So when we make some regulations, we can see that sigma zero is P zero over Bt and again, this equation and you can see that p0 is equal to 2p and we can write it as we know all the values to calculate this part of the equation when we substitute them we can obtain 2 times 7.5 kilonewtons over 30 millimeters times the thickness and we know that the alpha is 0 0.2 we calculated it here All right. And when we calculate this, we saw that the minimum yield strength is 200 MPA. Now, we are also done with the part B. Let's talk about part C. When we look at, look at the table 8.1, we should find the alloy which has a minimum toughness which is equal to 33.16 and a minimum yield strength of 200 MPA. And we, when we look at the table, we saw that the alloy 2024T351 satisfies our requirements because it has fracture toughness as 34 MPA square root meters and its yield strength is 325 MPA and you can easily see that it satisfies our requirements so we can select this alloy